Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and Path of Exile in 2023. Uh, now we have a new API with DirectX 12. So I'm going to show you the best setting for Windows and also the best setting for the inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people <laughs> are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's, it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so make sure first of all you have the proper display, but anyway you will see it. For the mode, really important to use full screen. I'm getting some random stuttering with window full screen or even window, so that's why I'm playing full screen. For the resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. For the FPI, for the renderer, I recommend it. Like, this one is it really depends on your system. If you have like an old video card that when it released, it, it, it was not even compatible with DirectX 12. They didn't like update it. Definitely test the DirectX 11 if you have like a, I don't know a GTX 970 960 something like that but if your uh, card is like I don't know a series 1000 or more recent and for Radeon I think it's Radeon 400 80 or more recent you can definitely test DirectX 12 it's pretty amazing more FPS better stability in your FPS uh, it's in beta so if you have random crash it can happen but I definitely recommend to go with DirectX 12 it's really really good and I don't recommend to use Vulkan I never had like good performance with Vulkan on my Radeon card my Nvidia card so this is pretty much my recommendation if you have like a very old uh, GPU go with 11 if you have something more more recent uh, go with d12 vsync i uncheck it so it disable i don't want any input lag when i'm playing the game and unlocking my fps at 240 um if you don't like those steering when you're playing you can definitely add your uh vsync you can also use other technology like FreeSync or g-sync if you have those um don't be too crazy with your fps if you have issue with your thermals i know i see a lot of people just unlock their FPS on the, on a the laptop. And after that, the, the CPU and GPU start to throttling because of that. Sometimes just lock your FPS with the amount of Ertz that you have on your monitor. So if you have a 60 Ert monitor, just lock at 60 or maybe like 75, something like that. But don't go too crazy with this. Anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with off. First of all, performance also for visibility. You can expect a nice 5% boost if you compare eye to off. Lighting, go with shadow and default. A, two to three percent boost in your fps but you will stabilize your fps here uh shadow quality and sun shadow quality go with low for both you can expect 15 percent boost over there so really really important same thing with number of light go with low you can expect another four percent bloom you should go with minimum for visibility depth of field you want to disable it for visibility also water detail honestly if you have something decent like a, a computer you will not see a big difference between low and high like one or two percent so Go with low if you really, really want performance, but the majority of the people can run high over there. Texture quality, if you have 4 gig of your RAM and more, go with I, and you can definitely run 8 or 16x. Uh, if you add a 3 gig of your RAM, go with medium and something like 4x. And if you have lower than that, stay at medium and go with 2x or even trial in here if you have like a very old GPU or something like that. Performance metric, I like to see my performance, but honestly, after a certain amount of time, uh, if you like your performance, just disable your graph and stuff like that. Uh, you don't really need that. And advanced setting, make sure that 
everything is disabled dynamic calling the dynamic resolution you don't want to use that super important to use the engine multi-threading over there so put it at enable you just you don't want to use just one core so uh now everybody has like four six eight twelve sixteen cores make sure this one is enabled also in game super important to hide the filter ground item it will really help with your performance and in sound if you're limited with your cpu like a very old cpu core duo one core duo two something like that go with channel count at medium or even low it will really help also with your performance so this is pretty much it for my pad of exile guide for 2023 if you have any questions just comment in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace